the Academy Awards, uh, uh, otherwise known as the uh, White People's Choice Awards. Chris Rock wasted no time addressing the Oscars So White controversy, delivering one of the most anticipated Oscar monologues ever. If they nominated host, I wouldn't even get this job. <laughs> Should I y'all be watching Neil Patrick Harris right now? Soon we were watching a parade of winners from Mad Max Fury Road, which earned six Oscars, all in technical categories. For thousands of years, we've been telling stories in the dark around a flickering light, whether a campfire or a projector. Some winners were expected, like room star Brie Larson taking Best Actress. The thing that I love about movie making is how many people it takes to make it. Some winners made history. Alejandro Iñárritu became just the third man ever to win back-to-back -back Best Director Oscars. Gracias the Mexican filmmaker academia. urged Thank us to liberate ourselves from all prejudice and this uh, tribal thinking and make sure for once and forever that the color of a skin become as irrelevant as the length of our hair. And some winners were long awaited. Revenant star Leonardo DiCaprio finally took home an Oscar and connected the film to his environmental advocacy. Our production needed to move to the southern tip of this planet just to be able to find snow. Climate change is real. It is happening right now. The show also addressed the issue of sexual abuse with a stirring performance by Lady Gaga. Till it happens to you, you are know how I feel. And Spotlight, the true story of the Boston Globe reporters who uncovered sexual abuse by Catholic priests and the cover-up, taking Best Original Screenplay and Best Picture of the Year. We made this film for all the journalists who have and continue to hold the powerful accountable and for the survivors whose courage and will to overcome is really an inspiration at all. Plenty of inspiration to go around on Oscar night. In Hollywood, I'm David Daniel.